having already identified a posterior labral tear. A periosteal elevator is used to liberate the labrum off the glenoid rim. It is critical to have adequate mobilization of the labrum and tissue. A shaver or a switching stick can then be utilized to access the glenoid rim and bony margin deep to the labrum. Adequate preparation of the glenoid rim and labral tissue can then be performed without significant iatrogenic injury to the cartilage and soft tissue. Utilizing the swap portal, unwarranted resection of the labrum can be prevented. The glenoid rim is prepared. Thorough exposure of the bony surface is necessary to maximize soft tissue healing. A hooded burr can also be introduced to achieve similar goals. Once adequate preparation is completed, the posterior labral tear can then be repaired.